Hi. There you are. I'm late. Sauce. Uh, tra- You drove here? No. Okay. What did you want to discuss? I have a request for you. Knew it. You're going to confess your love. Wait. <laughs> no, that's not- Shh, shh, shh. No more words. I ex- Kojiro, I don't- Call me Koji now. We're one. <sighs> Girl. Yes? Okay. So, a kiss to come- Did you even hear what I just said? Of course. I'm Corpse Girl! I'm the one behind the corpse photos, and the deaths, and- Yes, I know. <laughs> Knew it since our first noise chat. Our first noise chat? Remember? You messaged me late at night. Asked me if I knew about Corpse Girl. Is that what tipped you off? You assumed I was her just because I mentioned her? No. Then... how? You asked me to look up names. Names of Corpse Girl's victim. Oh, yeah. I did, huh? I suppose that gave it away. No. Other people could have known those names. Then... You said you requested Age Yehanada's death. I don't understand. I can. That was a lie. Even so, I still don't understand. You're not making any sense. You lied about requesting age. That lie proved to me that you're a corpse girl. Yes, but how? Tell me! I was the one who requested Eiji Hanada's death. I submitted his photo to Corpse Girl's website. Imagine my surprise when you claim that you did it. That lie made it clear. You knew his name. You knew you knew he was Corpse Girl's victim. Ergo, you are Corpse Girl. So Yes. And yet you still met up with me. And not just Yes. Aren't you scared of me? <laughs> No, that's not the way I'd put it. You should be scared of me. After all, I requested the death. Had motive for murder. Even if I didn't carry it out personally. Imagine what else I'm capable of. From our discussions, I know you don't kill your victims. You just nudge them. Urge them. Tempt them with death as an escape from their fear. You're no murderer. What reason have I to fear you? Join me. Mm -hmm. Help me... Help Corpse Girl rid this fucking world of the fetid filth that I'm... There's a certain beauty in death, a macabre certainty. Nobel Sinclair. You understand what I'm talking about. You work with cadavers for a living. The dead can't hurt you. We can't betray you. Wouldn't it be better if we were all beautiful like- Perhaps. Didn't expect Corpse Girl to be so vain. Is your motivation simply to impart your own ideas of beauty to the world? No. There's more to it. Of course. ambition is crucial to the survival of the entire human race. <laughs> Thought I had a big ego. You're so self-important. Both you and Corpse Girl. I don't expect you to understand. Not yet. But 
I've realized that I can't do everything alone. I need your help. I need cadavers. I see. What's in it for me? I propose an equal partnership. You'll reap half of the benefits from Corpse Girl's work. Girl will create more death than you could ever imagine. Think of all the fresh corpses you could get your eager little hands on. Sorry, already got my fill of corpses. Wards full enough as it is. Hmm. You've always wanted to mimic Nobel Sinclair. I can see it in your face. In your very soul, when you want to emulate his actions and experience his escapades firsthand. You want to dress up corpses, take them out to dinner, perform all manner of bizarre social events. your passion. But living vicariously through Nobel Sinclair's book, and that's where your fascination with me, with Corpse Girl. As soon as you figured me out, you knew I was your gateway to satisfying. You work with cadavers all day, every day. But you can't get them out of the morgue with eyes on you at all times. But I can. I have the perfect plan on how to withdraw all the corpses we could ever need. Half of them for you, and half of them for me. An equal partnership. Figured me out? I'll play along. Say there's a way to get corpses out of the morgue, without getting busted. Hmm. Perhaps you're not as clever as you think you are. <laughs> but you have the answer? I do. I guarantee. Hmm. Something about you makes you seem trustworthy. So be it. Consider us partners. Uh, you accept? Sure. Don't make me regret it, but listen. What I do with my share of corpses is my business. No nosing about. Got it? You still want to keep secrets, even if we'll be working together? Shouldn't we be open and honest and build a trusting partnership? Here's the deal. You don't pry, and I'll assist. I'll help you craft your elaborate photos. No charge. I get privacy, you get an assistant. Mutually beneficial. Wouldn't you agree? Glad to hear it. Saw us about the love confession stuff before. Too late now, but I'd have helped Corpse Girl in return for a simple date. Uh -huh. No backing out now. We've got a deal, right? Right. Welcome to the team, Kuchiro. Team Corpse Girl, huh? Well, it's good to be on board. My more connection? Your schemes. We hoist piles of corpses out and split the stack fit. To put it simply, yeah. And I get your assist- Of course. Looking forward to that. A spoken contract's as good as anything to me. I'm satisfied. When do we start? Soon. There's only one thing missing from my plan. That is? We need somewhere to store the bodies we retrieve. Somewhere big, with no one to meddle in our business. I'm thinking an old warehouse or something like that? Mm, a warehouse, huh? What about an abandoned factory? I might know a place. A factory? 